I'd like a large coffee with a shot of espresso. Coming right up. That will be two dollars. Here you go. Thank you. Good morning. I'll have the same thing. My usual large coffee with a shot of espresso. Okay, that will be three dollars. So just out of curiosity, why did you charge him a different amount for the same drink? Ernest is like 80-something, so I gave him an unofficial senior discount. Hmm. Good to know. Maybe someday. Good morning, Fred. Hi there, Dolores. Mind if I join you? Sure. I have a couple of minutes left on my break. You know, it kind of bothers me when he does that. Does what? Changes prices for certain people and not others. It doesn't seem very equal. I'm not complaining. It's his coffee shop. As long as he doesn't charge me more than is advertised on the sign. Yeah, but I'm a big believer in equality, and I'm bothered by anything that isn't leading us towards everyone being equal. That is amusing, because I guess you could say that I am opposed to anything that is attempting to make everyone equal. Why would you possibly be opposed to equality? In the words of the French political author Alexis de Tocqueville, There exists also in the human heart the depraved taste for equality, which impels the weak to attempt to lower the powerful to their own level, and reduces men to prefer equality in slavery to inequality with freedom. I am opposed to enforced equality, as that is the opposite of freedom. There is a big difference between treating everyone equally and making everyone equal. Not everyone makes the same decisions, so not everyone will be in equal situations. Trying to eliminate inequality will always limit freedom. That still makes it sound like you're opposed to the principle of equality. Whatever happened to all men are created equal? Equality is not meant to be the objective or outcome of freedom, but ideally some level of initial equality should be the assumed starting point for true freedom. So we, or the government, should enforce equal starting points for people and let them progress from there? Well, I wouldn't say that we should enforce equality so much as we should attempt to remove artificial inequalities. What do you mean by artificial inequalities? Different cultures have various mechanisms that artificially perpetuate inequality. For example, in India, they have the caste system, and if you are born in a certain caste, you are limited to that for life, regardless of what choices you make with your life. That is the type of artificial inequality I'm talking about. Hey, Fred! We were just learning about the caste system in my world studies class last week. Mind if I join you? Oh, hi, Aaron. Sure, sit down. This is Dolores. Hi, Dolores. My name is Aaron. I've seen you around in here before. Yeah, I work here most mornings. Nice to meet you. So the caste system is pretty crazy. Talk about no freedom. I am glad Western civilization never adopted a system like that. What about nobility in Europe? That is a socially constructed artificial inequality. Well, that is an interesting point. But what about when a prince in England chooses a commoner for a wife? Then she becomes royalty, right? True. It is occasionally possible to shift positions on that social scale. But that is the type of inequality Thomas Jefferson was referring to when he wrote in the Declaration of Independence. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights. He was opposing the idea that certain people were more fit to exercise power and authority because they were born as royalty. So everyone should be fit to exercise power and authority? No, some people may be more qualified to be leaders than others, but that should be determined by their education, experience, and reputation based on previous choices they have made, not just on who their ancestors were. Well, I can definitely agree with that, although the American system of self-government doesn't appear to be very conducive to selecting qualified leaders recently. Anyway, I really should get back to work. Good talking with you, Dolores. Have a nice rest of the day. Nice meeting you, Dolores. So, Fred, are you basically saying you don't want to make everyone equal, but you want to see everyone treated equally? No, I want to see everyone treated equally before the law and treated equally by government authority. But I am actually a strong supporter of the rights of individuals not to necessarily treat everyone equally. So the most important application of equality is how people are treated by the government? What about private citizens or corporations? Shouldn't they be required to treat everyone equally as well? Government regulation of how individuals treat other people seems like a huge violation of freedom. Social pressure should offer some natural regulation of those relationships, and the market should regulate the actions of businesses and corporations. Governmental authority should be exercised very selectively in a free country. Well, that's a lot to think about, but as usual, I need to hurry off to school before classes start. Thanks for the talk. Yeah, nice chatting with you. Have a good day at school.